Hello, James here. How you guys doing? Well, I'm doing fine myself. Um, and I made a video earlier that didn't really get any traction. But I, and I said, you know what? Let me uh, come at this another way. So I'm gonna go, this is gonna be another relationship video, kind of relationship, what's going on. And this time I'm gonna take it from a different perspective. Because to black people, I'm going to talk to you first. Because you, you make this common argument about when black people get money, black people get famous, that it's like all the black people seem to go out and get other races of women. Well, I'm going to show you what, what famous people are have black spouses. So this is going to shut down and maybe... And then I'm going to show you the, the difference in the interracial couples. All right, then. Let's get to the video. All right. First, we're going to start. I'm not going to go through. I don't know how long the video is. But we're going to start with 54 black Howard powerful couples. Denzel Washington, pa Paula, Paula Pearson, well-known actor. Cause people always crying and griping about, ain't hardly no worry about the black men. Will, Jada Smith, you know them. Second couple. Get it closer. Loris Fishburne and Gina Torres at the time, but they broke up. They were together from 20 to 2017. She's Afro Latina, he's a black American. Chaz Bowie, when he was alive, his, his wife was black. That's his wife. She's black. He's no longer with us. Angela Bassett. Courtney B. Vance. Well-known famous cu black couple. Hold on one minute. Oh. Yeah. Sterling K. Brown. That from from the show. This is me. His wife is black. Dwayne Martin. They were together, but they broke up. And Tisha Campbell. A black American famous couple at the time. Lapita Long. The woman off of Black Panther. That's that's her her, her boo. Forrest Whitaker, his wife is black.
Samuel, Samuel L. Jackson. His wife is black. Damon Wayne's off in living color. His wife is black. A black American chick. Michael Makita Williams. His wife is black. He played in Forrest Gump. Ella Joyce and Dan Dan Martin. She played in the she played on that series Raw. He, he played in some movies. They're still together. Omar Epps, his wife is black. Her name is Keisha Spivey. You know, he's been in a number of movies and TV shows. Megan Good. Well, she was together with Franklin, but they broke up. But that was Devon Franklin. They broke up. She broke the relationship up. Now she's regretting it. Terry Crews, his wife is black. She's his high, she's light skinned, but she's black. They, they still together, Regina King. Let me see if I can cut out this on it. Uh, and, uh, I only play Dion Ray. Some of you might know this, not, might know this, not, might know this couple. So everybody want to complain and say that all black men, when they get money and get famous, they leave the black woman. Boris Kelsey and Nicole Parker, black couple. And they're both black. They're still married to this day. He's a model and an actor. She's she was you know model too. Vanessa Elton, uh, Andre Montgomery, they still together. Another black couple. Why is any black women ain't talking about this? Since we talk about relationship shows, why are they not pointing out the black couples? Vanessa Anton, Anthony Montgomery. Uh, C.P. Pounder. What? Well, well, she passed away, but she was married to. Well, she was married to her husband, Bakara Kent King. But she passed away. So, rest in peace to her. Magda and, and, and Aaron Brown. Another famous black couple. Where, where is, where's your argument? Jeffrey Wright. And Car well, they, they they split up. Carmen. But his 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 wife was black. Carmen illegal. 
eagle and the eagle and he's y'all they broke up but he's still acting Kevin Hart a lucky up parish Kevin Hart's real famous you see him all on the commercials movies and stuff his wife is black Renee Elsie Gutenberry Alexia Johnson famous black men with with black famous black women Shalonda Hamilton, Devin Dukes, still together. Vanessa Bill and Anthony Calloway. Anthony Calloway and Vanessa Bill Calloway. You remember her from Coming to America. Her husband is black. They're still together. Makai Pfeiffer and Rashida, Rashida Barnes. Let's say that name right. They together. He's been in a number of movies. Tony Smollett and jo Josiah Bell still together. Another black couple. Taji P. Henson and Kevin Harden. I don't know if they're still together, but this is what the time was taken. She was with Kevin Harden, Taji P. Henson. I don't know if they're still together. Of course, this is four years ago, but some of these people are still together. Clark Peters, Penny Clark. He's been in a couple movies. I recognize his face. Again, another man, successful black man, got a black wife, Don Cheeto, and Bridget Colto. They still together from 1992 to the present. He's been in a number of movies. She's Anthony Mackey and Charletta Ch Chapel Chapel Chapel. They're together. He's been he's a famous black man making movies. Danny Glover and e Elaine Colorado Colorado. Sounds she's Afro Latina. Danny Glover. You know Danny Glover been in acting for a long time. His wife is is African, African descent. Glenn Turman, Joanne Allen. So it's fifty four black couples on here. Well, some really well known, some you recognize. Chris, well, Chris Rock, and he's no longer married to this woman. Nayland. 
Zoop, zoop, zoop. I, I can't say her name. I don't, I don't think they're together no more. I think so. But his, his well, that's the second wife, Morgan Freeman. And that didn't work out. His first wife was a black woman. Don't know what his current girlfriend or wife is right now. Redmond Dunbar, Maya Gilbert. He's been in some movies. I recognize him. Some series. Tyler Perry and Bella Belkin. I don't know if he's still with this woman or not. Too. But Tyler Perry. Pick his, his wife, girlfriend, of was black. He's a big in there. LL Cool J. Now I know they still together. Simone Johnson. He's another a rapper. He's an actor now. He's famous. LL Cool J. Rocky Cop Carroll and Gabriel Butler. They still together. He, he's been you know, a couple movie series. He's he has a black wife. But you don't see no black women bringing these pictures up on their platform or black men. Where's the Umar Johnson talk about black couples like this? Me alone. And well they they no longer together. <laughs> he cheated on her. <laughs> but they were together he cheated on with another woman Ice Cube and Kimberly Wardriff he's still together with his kid's mother well, well known Ice Cube why we ain't talk about famous black men like Ice Cube he didn't, he didn't cheat and have a white woman on the side, a girlfriend. He's still with his black wife. The guy playing in Moon, he's with his, well, Shala Ali, he's with, if I said that right. But he's with his wife. She's black. And that's the uh, Samad Kadran, if I said that name right. Morris Chestnut, Pam Bice, his wife is black. His his wife is black, and, and a lot of black women have a crush on Morris Chestnut, and he married a black woman. See, Chris Chalk, Kimberly Dalton Mitchell. Wedding pictures. And I don't know who I seen him, but I can't pronounce his name. He's been in a couple movies, but his wife is black. He's a British actor, not Iris, but the other one. He played in um. Oh, uh, you probably seen that movie with with Mark Wahlberg. He played the drug dealer, the kingpin in that. His wife is black. Anthony Anderson, his wife is black. On um, blackish, his wife is black. And he lost weight since. 
LeVar Burton. His wife is black. So I don't know what social media talking about when, when, when black men get money, they run off with white women. Well, apparently these black men didn't run, run off with no white or other women. And they're well known in the industry. Tracy Morgan with Megan he's married comedian Tracy Morgan Kent David Don Lee Williams he's been in a number of movies Going back in the 80s, 70s, and 80s, late 80s, Leo Williams. His wife is black. Iris, the one who's going to be James, the black James Bond. His wife is black. From England. He's from England. Sabrina, Dorothy, do, do yeah. Bernie Mac, you know, of course, Bernie Mac passed away. Well, Rhonda, look if he passed away, but they were together. She'd been with him till up till he died. At the height of his fame, then he died. Michael Clark Duncan, he died too. But he was with Amorosa Manico. You know who Amorosa Manico is. She was with a black man named Michael Mark with Clark Duncan, who passed away of a heart attack. James Avery, and of course he passed away with Barbara Barbara Waters from 1980 to 2013. He passed away. He was married to a black woman, playing Uncle Phil. Now, that should shut a lot of people up. And people say, "Well, when, when we get some money, we get famous. We don't ever, we don't ever have to, we don't pick somebody." Well, you just seen the black couples from. From the beginning of their career, some a few couples didn't last. Some people died, but they were together. A few a couple people passed away, but they were a couple. There's couples still together to this day. Now I'm going to take you to the interracial couples. Wesley Snipes with Nicole Park. And it's 38 interracial couples. But since we're black people, I'm gonna point. I'm gonna point out the ones. And I bet you, yeah, well, you're ain't black. Michelle, she, she's probably some Asian American. Jill Harper. Sent. But they are the interracial couple. Both look Asian, but they interracial couple.
Woody Harrison and Laurel Libby. passed away when they broke up. Some people I'm not really familiar with, but they're famous. Sam Neill. Josh Holloway, and mm -hmm. I've seen him in some movies. But most of them are Pacific, Asian American, or white people. I want you know want to point point that out. It's it's gonna probably, um, but let's get back to what what Doctor Umar Johnson had to say. Let me finish it off this video because I get I cut in half of it because he was making statements about that. Don't want me 
we're not having it. In the name of Patrice Lumumba, we're not having it. In the name of Robert Mbukwe, we're not having it. In the name of Julius Neary, we're not having it. In the name of Henry Allen Garnett, we're not having it. In the name of Nat Turner, we're not having it. Oh, no, sir. Oh, no, sir. I'm looking forward to Saturday's keynote. I'm looking forward to Saturday's keynote. We want to talk about black masculinity. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about all these black men who sit on YouTube. Podcast after podcast. Gossip session after gossip session. Intellectual masturbation clinic after intellectual masturbation clinic. And we ain't got no institutions in our community. I'm rolling through the Instagram feed and I'm seeing how this black man did this and this black man did this and this black man did this. And that's good. That's good. Support our brothers. They need it, but I don't see nobody celebrating nobody for opening a hospital. I don't see nobody celebrating nobody for opening up the clinic. I don't see nobody celebrating nobody for opening up the import-export network, the manufacturing network. I don't see that. I don't see the independent schools. I don't see the black independent grassroots banks. Don't tell me we doing good until you can show me an independent black community.
Okay, I'm gonna stop it right here. You try to bring up some points. Actually, there are black people are opening up businesses. If you bother to go on Facebook, there there's always somebody. There are there's a few black banks that have been opening up recently. Number one, so you have to have capital. Number two, number two, um, it takes time to get something together. There are black men and women are building, black men and black men that are building. Obviously, he happened to took in the time because I've seen multiple businesses on Facebook that are black owned. Every day, some someone black is opening up some type of business, but black men, and there are black people that employ black men are employing black boys and girls. So to just throw throw a whole group under the bus. Isn't it? Number two, number two thing. Let me give you some advice. And it's, unless somebody give a relationship, make sure that they are in a relationship. So make sure they have experience in a relationship. Not so, somebody's going to tell you about a relationship. It's almost like me trying to tell you to raise children. I can, I can study, read a book, and study psychology. But if I don't have any hands-on experience in raising children, I ain't got no room to criticize you. If I ain't got, if I if I haven't have a wife, I ain't got no, no room to criticize criticize no man. That's what. I, but he's never been married. He has children. Like I said, look the reason why. And, and it's, but I point this out because if you're gonna say something and chastise other people about what they're not doing and what then you have to look in your own backyard. You have to take your own accountability. See, it's, it's, it's easy to sit up there and and say things like that. It takes time. And there are black people that do it. And, and you have to put all walks of life and, and accept. But calling calling someone names is not a mature way of getting things done. Even if you, if, if you, you and another person who's black don't necessarily agree. All the name calling isn't necessary. That's why some people don't t take him seriously. And there are probably been some business people and say, well, he sound intellectual, but when they see what he just said at the end, they know he's not mature enough as a, as a business thinking person. He sound good and everything, but look, do you think business people go around doing that? What black professionals go around calling, if they have a simple disagreement with, with something they can waste somebody do, they don't do stuff like that. Num number, number two thing, uh, there are black men that that's choose to stay behind and love black women, stick, stand by black women. Again, it's, it's, it's a choice. It's a, it's a choice in a matter. Some black men gonna stand by, but worry about the black men who are who have a capability. And like I show you, even though they were famous people, they're proud of their blackness, they're proud of their Africanness. But and all that all that that's that's that stuff. But you need you need to be realistically. And criticizing about, oh, we ain't doing this, we ain't doing that. There are black people doing bits and spurts in what they can do. Sometimes the laws, is, it's not justice. But but some people are able to get around it. And just, you know, what? and then again, what, what, what are you doing with your money? You criticize at me. He, he got a building, and this is what everybody's saying. You have a building over 10 years. You make a minor repair, and if he all all concerned about the children, why is he bringing children to a school that that it took almost almost 13 years to to put together? Most people take two to five years to open up a school. He has donations from all over all over America. Then when he picks the school, if he's concerned about black children, why would you put a put him in a building that's possibly that probably has asbestos in it? Why would you want, if you care about black children, knowing that that can play a part in their mental and 
the official health doc, doc, is Dr. Umar. What? Then here's the realistic part. Say, I was watching a couple people, a commentaries on how we you gonna get these kids to school. Well, we gonna work something out with the transportation companies and, and bus them from five cities to Delaware. He was saying in New, some Baltimore, Maryland, and and DC is within an hour, two hours away. And heavy and heavy traffic it, it takes some children. And what company and I was thinking about this logistically and I've been in transportation for for years and I know just to transport kids with buses, there's only so amount of radius they can go around the city. And even the ones that go further out to the suburbs, they got a certain round of radius. What person is going to sacrifice their transportation company and the fuel costs, the, the rear tear on their, their buses to, to bring some kids down into some um, area where the crime rate is, is like one of the highest in the country? What 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 transportation company gonna do that? And then, good. What driver's gonna want to drive that far? Drive a busload of kids, about two or three hours from the different cities, two or three hours or four hours to De Wilmington, Delaware, for his school. The, the one he keeps telling Dollar Sound, FDND, but he, he expects to build a Wakanda out of broke people's, average working people. You supposed to just keep giving them money. You've been giving people been giving them money since 2010, and you know, and then you got some people are, are blindly. It's like wow, everybody with a lick of common sense know that it don't take that long. That even there have been people that have been reported. Then another another thing, he said that, but don't don't he do the same thing as far as critiquing the men? Ain't, ain't you doing the same thing? And, and being so masculinity. If you're a masculinity man, why is, why are you not in a, a a real masculine man would be in a real mass will be in head of a household. A real masculine man would have his own house in order before chastising other men. Does he have his own house? Does he does he have it? that's that's my question. Does he, does he have his own wife or wives or children? So if someone's gonna tell you something about it, they need to be living the, what what they're preaching about. He don't live. He don't live it. And different individuals online pointed that out. They talking good game, but are they living the life? It, it's like someone talk talk about all like someone be a rapper being a gang member. Then you actually meet someone as an actual gang member that's been out there, lived that life. And it's the, and, and the person say you fake you ain't no gang member that, that, that been out there in the street but you know gang members know what a gang man well that's a, a same analogy you look in life people know when you're real and it, and they really don't t they 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 think you're you're humorous you might have some intellectual point at times and say yeah you got good talking points to hear but when they when a name calling and 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 a gesturing at other people because they simply don't agree with you you have to sit down and think about did Marcus Garvey do something like that did he have a disagreement with him did, did uh, Malcolm X have be that superficial it, but he's trying to get to a level of the black black leader what black leader do you know ever talk like that they, and, and at least they lived it they, they walked it they talked it Malcolm lived it, he walked it, he talked it. Marcus lived it, he walked it, he talked it. He didn't just talk, you know, Umar. He, he lived it. He lived his, he, he was, they were masculine men. Very masculine men. But they lived it. And they, and they, were, and they were faithful to their wives. They ain't trying to go around and try to see, give many wives that they can. They were men of honor. And that's something that he don't have. When they come, they were men of honor when they took care of their children. They were they were men of honor when it, when when they ran it when they were part of the organizations. They were men of honor. They ain't just they ain't just say it, and and they, and they, and they, they had a strong influence. See, someone know when you a threat. 
and and the government don't find him a threat. They know he's he's a hogwash. But he sounds like he's trying to be, but he he's not. Because if someone is doing it, they they they, they all the way around up about it. If you ever look at this story, and I was I made a video about Mark Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Marcus Garvey, these individuals, they were about it. They ain't just talk crap. And they ain't had to sit down and, and you ain't with the and being on some petty stuff. You ain't with the black woman and all that other that, 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 that. They, they took care of business. And they and they were probably black men that went with black women at the time back then. That was not their focus. Their focus was community first. Work with the people that was was in agreement with them first. And then maybe somewhere along the line, maybe some people will open up their eyes and see. But critiquing somebody because they're not black enough or African enough in your it's, it's, it's silly because maybe some people don't see things right away and maybe at some point that they do and I, and I showed the video over because you got people like him and and, and, he's, uh, and some of these other social and saying that when these black men get famous they go out there and get a snow bunny they go out and get, get something I had to show you 54 people that are famous that didn't get go out and get so called snow bunnies or any other women and this is no offense to anybody who are in interracial relationships. But you got people down there, and it's something that really black and some of us black are insecure with that. We are really insecure. Now, if I got to sit down there and make, make that gesture and, and tell a black woman or black man, you, you ain't black enough because you, I mean, what is that saying about me? It's like, why don't you worry about why don't you get your relationship you get the relationship let me see what you do before you come criticizing what's in my you, you, let me see what's in your house before you start critiquing what's in my house and this is what shit be he, people and so he does the same thing with what the podcasters do talking about what's alpha male alpha male is pe take care of the children alpha male is being that father figure Alpha male is not only and protecting a woman and being faithful to a, being faithful to a woman. Do you hear him talking about that? Do you see him displaying it? I I, I will ask his support. Do you see that when he when he come come? He's very entertaining. He's very enlightening. But do you see his walk? What is his is his fruit? It's the same thing that we say. You know, some people that go to church. People, there's there's a big, big people that talk a good game about being a preacher or being a Christian. Then there's some people out there that are really they 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 they're the footwork. They the real deal. They go out there and they minister to people. They out there feeding the homeless and they don't they out there doing what God commanded them to do. Do you? So my my my, my question to the support is: Do you see the difference, or are you t entertained? Are you? Are, are you entertained by the tickling of the ears? Where do you see a realistic point? There are black people are, are doing this. There are building. There are black banks. There are black There are black people trying to do it. What, but he don't point that out. They are because he's supposed to be so called his own mind, his own leader of a people. But a leader don't sit down and have to do that to other black people. Even if you have a simply disagreement, this is where maturity comes in. He's not. He's he's not. He's not mature. And it's sad that even as a so-called professional psychologist, psychiatrist, he sounds like a fool. And, I mean, I'm just saying. And I'm not even psycho. Psych, you know, psychiatrist. Knowledge has worked with human behavior, but you don't see black perfect people in that field talking like that. There's been black people on TV come on YouTube that are major in that field. You don't see them conduct themselves that way. And it, and it but it is it it's hard to take someone like that seriously. And then like I said, then he's asking you for something to keep donating to something and donating to something that you've been donating for years and years and years. It, you got don't donate to me in order for me to come and speak to you. You got to donate to me. 
and not giving you a, a proper record. He's not showing you a chart. He's not showing you. He's not showing you blueprints. He's not showing you anything. Any any business, anybody front asks for funding for business, they give you the blueprints. They give you the the cost and everything, and they have it. This is what we gotta do. We got this is how much I calculate for the air condition. This I calculate for the windows. This I calculate. Did he do do that? No. People just give him the money. He get he, he do one project. And how many? Just keep on keep keep on giving it, keep on giving it to me. Keep on giving it to me. We on our way. We on our way. This been going on for over ten years. And the most and we don't even know if, if, if it's more asbestos in the building. Then it's in one of the most worst parts of the of the county. But hey, it's crazy to take the take the advice or something like that. But hey, people find him amusing. They really think that he's got this Wakanda ment mentality, and it's it's unrealistically. And people have shows you people. Uh, one young man that done insurance, accountant has showed you, attorney has showed you, and a black community told him you can't. Run, run a school like this. There have been people that other people have done this try to give him some advice. He he's so he's so that it was a black woman that tried to give him some advice about what their paperwork is. I got it all down, sister. I got it all down. That's how arrogant he is. And people are given arrogance and no guidance. And and it's and it's sad that there's people that really don't think about when they give the money all this time what is he really doing are you seeing are you seeing the evidence of it are you seeing the paperwork of it because if anybody I mean that's what anything and you know and, and, and people make it about a race thing well let me give you, give you some example I've seen people on YouTube hold white content creators just as well as other content creators accountable right now it's a big thing called F, uh, FTX, and there was some white content creators was getting their getting their getting their content creators to establish and send money and sign up with this FTS thing. And and now that this FTS thing went down, now now they about to get the company get they get sued. Not only that the company get sued, but the content creators who promoted on their platform got sued by convincing people. Oh yeah, they was convincing them. Send your money, send your money. So white people do hold other white people accountable. And they were sending tons of money to, for that FTF crypto. But, you know, it seems like when it comes to black people, it's got to be a double standard. He trying, he trying to come up, so is everybody else. But at some point, what, at what point, when are you going to stop asking? If I, if I can, can, hey, send me money, send me money, and send me money. And I keep talking to you, I keep... And I'm not showing you a product. He's like, okay, James, you know, we send you for this product. Can you give us some detail or something? I mean, <laughs> just, no, come on, hit the cash up. Hit the cash up. I'm, I'm trying to get me a, a built, a, built a, a small school for, uh, a, for kids or a pet center, whatever. If I was making something like that, at least, you know, I can at least come to my audience and give them the blueprint. Then, sh then sh at least give somebody an idea to shut the critics up. Maybe they wouldn't talk about it. And they would have, then, then, they, then they show the people out there painting the building. They didn't even scrape the paint off the building. They paint over the, they didn't even scrape it before they paint it. And you scrape the dog on paint out. They just paint, paint over it, up over it. And, and we, we, and he's showing all in his, all this stuff in his business. So he, because you know he like to show everything, and he, he, he showing every time he, he, he with the camera, he shows everything. But he, he let you, and so you can see is there any progress, he, and he just show you one part of the sink. Okay, but it's not, is it you you four hundred thousand dollars. Five, how, just for just for the repairs for the sink. How much money you gotta keep dumping into it? How much time you gotta keep running to get the cash up? I'm just saying. I'm just asking questions. 
But you know, apparently people must don't like to use cognitive thinking. Apparently his supporters don't. Some of his supporters don't use cognitive thinking. That's sad. It's, you, they're so worked up and having this, these false idol gods of Africa. But you use the cognitive thinking that the most high give you the brain. That's messed up. But I'm going to leave it right there. But I just had to make show you a video that not every black person is with another person of a different race who are, who are famous. So people can stop dispelling that myth. That's why I made this video. There, there were famous people that had black, black women and black men that had who are well known in the industry of their, their craft. Some people have died. Some people have you know, some things didn't work out, but they went and got another black spouse. All right? So, you show them that when they, when they tell you, oh, oh, that's, you know, the, the only time when a black man gets some money, he go, you can show them that, show them my video. I'll give you to it. And say, explain this. Anybody say some stupid stuff like that anymore, explain it. I'll give you permission to show, my, show, show them. Show, show them that. Share it because that will show that will shut that argument up. It's about character, it has nothing to do, it's about your care. That's why people are together, that's why some couples are together, whether they outside the race and then they stick with someone in their race. It's 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 it's, it's the character, it's what is it's inside of them, it's, and what they have in common, other than your complexion on your skin. And what they what what they like, you know, you learn about each other. It's like any same race couple do. That's just common sense. And then and then my next question is, why does it bother you? And then the same people critiquing that, like Umar, why are you not in a relationship? Why you can't? And then if you can, you you can't hold a relationship. So so you're gonna judge somebody and you're not in a relationship yourself? I mean, it's like I said, it's like me trying to tell someone to have, and I don't have children. And just because I can, I can study and do a book about it, read the Bible to the book, it don't mean I don't have the experience. So it's hard for me to take a person seriously. And it's, to, it's sad enough, it's hard for but some people listen to that and take his word like, like he's the next thing to Moses. <laughs> Y'all take it easy and be blessed. And to my people out there, you get to offend you who, who's a Umar supporters. I'm sorry. Truth is truth. Use some cognitive thinking. God give you a brain beyond the, the color of your skin. He give you the brain to, to rationalize and think. Think with rationality. Let the Most High show you the whole, what he's really about. Don't, don't get so emotional when someone critique it. We all get critiqued. I probably get critiqued about something but it is what it is but and I just accept the critique and it can either you, you can either take it to run or they tear you down but at least you know for yourself as an individual and I wish black people like any other people would think outside the box some of us would think some of us do some of us needed more need to think of outside the box is beyond your skin. If you mean, maybe you have to go and, and maybe get outside the country somewhere and, and kind of open up your mind that this, this, this thing's bigger because this country has got you thinking that black is black and that's as far as you go. And there are people that have stepped outside their norm to show that that's not so. You've been trained that way. Not everybody in the world sees life like you do. And it don't make them a sellout, don't make them whatever. It's just people, different experience of different people. And let me see before I say it's going. He's been outside of, out of America. And it's like, wow. You, it's going to show you like, wow, you spent, you've been in these different places on the islands and different countries. And you haven't really learned that there are different people different, they have different perspective and different attitude. Yeah, 
for someone, I guess they didn't really do much for Umar. But anyway, that's all I got to say for this video. Till next time, take care.